Hi, Sag. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag. What in the world? The message really could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below. You can also check me out over on Instagram. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with over there. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's jump in and see what's going on. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. You've got the conch, conchlear conch, I can never say the word and I apologize, this word always slips my mind because I always think of like the conch, the cochlear <laughs> in the ear. I always like get them all super crazy mixed up. It's just my brain. So this is actually fascinating. This just freaking came up in Capricorn's reading and I never tied it in, but I'm just going to throw this out there anyway because it was a very interesting fact. Okay, so there's something here about growing and expanding. This, I was actually reading a book about like quantum physics of nature and crazy things like that, because that's just what I do. And it actually talked about how these waves on the shell, they're like actual, like, they're shot in real time, you know, it turned into material, it turned into a particle, but this is actually the wave pattern. So it was like caught in real time because you know how with wavelengths, you can't really see them with your eyes, like gamma rays or things like that. The frequencies you can't pick up on. This is something tangibly coming into place. Okay, now I see how it's interconnected. <laughs> okay, so right now, you could be looking at the certain energy that is taking place in some kind of dynamic at this time. It could be really highlighting the frequency of what you're involved in. For some of you guys, it's like some kind of energetic grid system that you got involved in. That's what it feels like it's talking to me about because you've got this whole thing it's expanding into something bigger because you see how it's like, that's why I was talking about the expansion of this. Okay. That's somehow coming into play with your, with the current energy that you've been involved in. It started out kind of small or insignificant. And now you could be seeing that the frequency of something that you had interconnected with, it's expanding at this time. You've also got, what was this one that popped out? Okay, what in the world? Aquarius had this. There could be an... I don't know if you guys are connected to a Capricorn or Aquarius, but both of those cards came out. Apparently, we're not getting new cards. So, you guys have actually had this not too far off ago. We have this imperfection. Okay. Oh, very interesting. There was like some kind of perceived flaw or something about yourself that you thought wasn't perfected enough or like you could have seen like this feels more internalized Sag. It feels like something that you could have. It could have been also a, a little bit of a subtle projection that took place, but I'm seeing um, what could be coming up to the awareness is like some kind of perceived imperfection about yourself. Maybe you're even looking at the imperfection of another energy and there's just like a lot of depth that's coming in around that. This is also, okay. So we have the solar corona, which talks about the recent eclipse season. So there was a fascinating connection between that. So for those of you, if something came up to the surface with the solar corona, Whatever came out to the surface, this, this process is tied to that. Ah, wow. Something came up to the surface and it, whatever happened there, there was some kind of internalized process or archetypal development that you could have been going through. And it's like you expanded in some way, but it also could have created some kind of imperfection that you might have an insecurity about. How very interesting. You've got this time, 
which can talk about a timeline, and then you've got this scintillation. Okay. Wow. All right. Let me grab the cards because I don't really... I, this will all come together. Just let me get some other cards so I can really pull all together. Okay. I'm seeing something here where you've got time. Maybe when it comes to like writing a situation or taking care of some kind of imperfection. Look, I know humans are not perfect. Like it's not about, oh... It's just something here that you, like, you have kind of a, something with your relationship with time is going through some craziness here. <laughs> I don't know if that was, like, of significance. You might have felt like you lost time. I will tell you that a lot of people are feeling that after the last couple years. So it's like you could be feeling the significance of time right now and you might be feeling as though maybe you're trying to put something together. It might be a little imperfected or it's like it's, it's not quite what you were wanting or expecting, but the scintillation could be an energy where you're taking action or making movement. Scintillations is just like little something lights up in your reality and that's where you feel like you take movement on it feels like that's how you're approaching an imperfection and it's just like utilize your time you know you guys might be taking advantage of time more now than ever just like because you've got like such an awareness around time or timelines at this time Okay, so that's interesting. So we have, this is an interesting dynamic because whenever the High Priestess and the Higher Font come out together, this is a lot of spirituality. It can also be, like, sometimes these two are perceived to be in connection, like either in a romantic relationship, so that could be something that's going on. Oh, very interesting, okay. Okay, the first card that came out was this Eight of Swords, and then we have the Three of Swords. Both of the Three of Swords came out. Woohoo! All right. So there are two Three of Swords in her deck, which I find very interesting. But, and then we've got the Eight of Swords. Okay, we've got this. Pretty much all of them are out. We've got the world card. Okay, so it looks like you are like in this process of closing out a cycle. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get into the details of this. You have the King of Cups. Um there's the Knight of Cups. Oh, that's a very interesting combination going down right there. It looks like your emotions are coming to a completion tied to another person because it looks like there's been a significant amount of pain. And it feels like for a, for a pretty long time with the time card, you like... It's like mentally you were still tied to a person or a situation is it but look at this okay as the final outcome energy technically that's supposed to be you we have the two of wands and the king of wands okay there's a person ready to take action whatever that means this king of wands and the two of wands they might be looking for a sign or or like they might be making plans right now you might not quite know it this person is like planning something okay that's a completely separate energy but i'm seeing over here your emotions are closing off toward a particular person or situation because something could have come up i'm seeing for some of you guys you could have had to deal with some kind of energy and um okay how do i say this 
I think the eclipse brought up this whole thing that's been unfolding over the past, like, maybe couple months. This has been a process. Like, there's a timing to this. And you are very much, like, and I, I would definitely not... I know this is normally associated with, like, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but this is a higher level of consciousness that you've shift into or that you are shifting into to move through this because you kind of know that you're not going to be able to move through it normally or with a lower level of consciousness it's really requiring you to be like in a higher level yeah okay what came up through the solar corona i think it's this whole realization about a person that could have been deceptive or doing something and it caused some kind of like pain in your situation or you could have felt like they betrayed your trust or like did something insignificant like significant and it's caused you to it's almost like energetically it could have put you in a hard spot like between a rock and a hard place is what i just heard and there's a timing before something plays out here. It's it's almost like this is going to go through phases and you have to be very in touch with you. your guides are really powerful crazy guides, <laughs> okay? Like this is very fascinating cuz I'm seeing here that you have a very specific like spirit guide or someone that could be there's communications taking place. This is on some kind of different level, okay? Like this is like really trippy and um, I'm seeing that this is like the catalyst of it. I don't know which position you sit in. You guys either felt betrayed by someone but there's like this whole other level that you're either aware of or not it's on whenever you are able to tap into your intuition you can kind of catch glimpses of like whatever you're interconnected to and you're you're freaking your intuition is so freaking on point it's like your guides are so all up in your situation at this time because it's like they see what you don't and that's how you're able to kind of maneuver it this time is and that could be like very weird for other people to deal with about you is like you you take certain actions or you do certain things and you like people don't totally know how you're doing it or how you're figuring it out because maybe you appear to be at a disadvantage in some way but that's also why i feel like yeah like there's other energies that could be oh man there's just there's a timing to this there's like a like there's something about the timeline of this I feel like emotionally you've closed off because there could be this significance that you feel like to take care of yourself means closing off your emotions toward a person or situation. I do think that there's a person that's going to be coming in with a lot of regret. Okay. I think that there's a person here that feels like they made a huge mistake. Oh, man. And that's what came up to the surface. So it's like... Sag, this person emotionally is going through it. Is Whoever this King of Cups person is... It could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. It's hard to totally tell. But this person emotionally is going through it. There was something that happened in the past where you, like, this person had maybe gone by you or they, um, if you were dealing with some kind of internalized wound, like, for some of you guys, with this combination, the Three of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, that can be 
there's different levels of this, but this can seriously be like panic attacks or going through a psychosis or something crazy like that. Like that's very legit. There was just something where you got in some kind of alternate situation and this person either walked away from you or they like they could have ended the situation and now the energy is flipping back around so that's why this person might all of a sudden you you might be coming out on top of things or something about your energy is like coming out on top or coming in complete you're expanding in some significant way this person will be coming forward towards you, this very specific person. They feel like they just lost out on some huge opportunity. And it's like, maybe it's like now emotionally, they're finally feeling something significant. Where in the past, it could have been apathetic. There could have even been something internally that was really disconnecting this person from their higher self or to be able to see the truth of the connection between the two of you or what was going on energetically. I do think if you are psychically connected to this person, you are kind of like giving compassion or love to it, but almost with the safety of your inner self in mind that you even it's like you know for the, maybe the betterment of yourself that you have to close out this situation with this person because I think your intuition is strongly telling you that um, maybe this person needs to go through their own process you know you not get in the way of their karma but just whoever this king of wands person is they could be looking out for movements from you or they might be looking for a sign. I keep seeing that this person is like their movements and their actions or their planning is somehow connected to you. Okay, maybe they're going to there could be some level of involvement that they might be coming in. I'm not totally sure what I was talking about. <laughs> I love this. Your guides are seriously like they're watching your back like crazy and it's like you'll be able to see things before they happen and that's like your ability to shift into this higher level of consciousness like people won't really be able to understand that but let me dive into the extended i'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there of course feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but sag if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing all the very best see you in the next reading take care